Hello, my name is Michael. Today we'll be talking about the robot that I just got and built. So first it comes in this package with the company of Elegoo. It also comes with this manual which it instructs you how to assemble the robot. And with this assembly tutorial, this is the final product. Now, it came with a battery, but it was dead on arrival, so we got a third-party battery to charge it. We also installed a switch that allows it to turn on and off at will. Let's see how it works. First thing we need to do is go to settings. So you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi network called Elegoo. You'll notice that there's no lock symbol over here, which means that the network is unsecure. Next, you want to go to the app called Ellie Robot will lead you to this. So you need to press control here to in order to control the robot. Now what you want to do is go to the top right corner and press this little paper clip so that the Wi-Fi network will be connected. Now by pressing this little button here you'll be able to drive the robot for yourself. Now go back to the menu and press this button. It will go into a mode called Obstacle Avoidance Mode. This means it will manually drive itself and try to detect objects around it. Today in this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make the Elegoo Wi-Fi network secure. I'll also be teaching you how to get the MPU data connecting to the Wi-Fi network. The first thing we need to do is download the Elegoo car kit from their website. The downloaded kit is a zip archive. You need to unzip it into the folder of your choice. For this purpose, I created a folder called Elegoo. The next step is to download and install the Arduino Integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short, where we will be editing the Elegoo code. The Elegoo car uses the ESP32 Wi-Fi microcontroller, which is integrated into the camera module. The steps of how to set up the Arduino IDE to program the camera module are described in the camera module FAQ document. There's also a video tutorial that can be found on the Elegoo website. First, you need to disconnect the camera module from the car and connect it to the USB port of your computer with a provided USB cable. Then you'll need to open the ESP32 Eno file by double clicking it. It will automatically start the Arduino IDE and download all associated files. These files contain C++ codes that we will need to modify. Next, you'll need to select the communication port assigned to by your PC to the USB port, which you connected to the camera module. In my case, it is COM4. Then you need to enable Arduino IDE to support the ESP32 board by specifying the link to the ESP32 JSON file and preferences as described in the camera FAQ document. I also changed the AVR board from Arduino Uno to Arduino Yun to match the Elegoo video tutorial, but it may not be necessary. Next from Tools, you will need to open the board manager and install the ESP32 library version 1.04. Then, again from Tools, you'll need to select the ESP32 dev module, then change the partition scheme to huge app and enable PS RAM. Now we are ready to do some programming. First, go to the camera web server header file and change the password string from empty to your desired password. Then, go to the camera web server C++ file and change the camera frequency to 20 MHz. This may or may not increase the speed of the camera video stream. Next, go to the INO file and disable the checks for heartbeats sent by the Wi-Fi client. This check disconnects Wi-Fi during inactivity, which can be annoying. Finally, compile and upload the code to the camera module by pushing the right arrow key. Let's check if the Elegoo Wi-Fi network became secure. If you can see the lock symbol next to the Elegoo network, we achieved our goal. When connecting it to the first time, you will need to provide the password that you entered in for the code. 
After successfully connecting to the Elgu network, go to your browser and type the HTTP address to the camera video stream and check if the video stream is working. If so, we are done with the camera programming. Our next task is to enable the Elegu car to send its MPU data to the Wi-Fi client. The communication protocol is described in one of the PDF documents of the downloaded car kit. The protocol uses JSON to encode commands sent to the car's Wi-Fi module. Each command requires an N key followed by an existing command number. Most commands require an H key followed by a unique command name assigned by the client, which can be a number in the string format. The car response starts with this command name followed by the status or the requested data. Commands can control motors, movement direction, and speed, and ultrasonic module rotation angle, which is also the rotation angle for the camera. Commands can request data from the car, such as distance, measured by the ultrasonic module or check the, if the car was lifted off the ground. But there are no commands to receive the MPU data from the car, which we will add in this tutorial. We will use this data later in our Python code. The Elgu car kit includes a PDF document of how to set up the Arduino's IDE for the car's main circuit board. There are different motor driver and MPU chips installed on different cars sold under the name of Elegu R3 version 4. The instructions of how to find which chips are installed on your car are in the README First PDF document. My car got TB6612 motor driver chip and MPU6050 chip, so I will need to use the codes from the corresponding folder. First, connect the main circuit board of your car to the USB port of your computer and turn the upload cam switch next to the USB connector on the circuit board to the upload position. Then, go to the folder corresponding to your chipset and double click on the smart robot INO file. This will automatically start the Arduino IDE and open all associated files. Next, go to Tools and select the Arduino Uno board and the COM port assigned by your PC to the USB port, to which you connected the main circuit board. In my case, it is COM3. Now we are ready to do some coding. First, go to the MPU6050 header file, find the MPU6050 class, and the GetMotion6 function declaration. The number 6 means that this MPU measures 6 axis accelerometer and gyroscope data. Copy this declaration to the clipboard by pressing Ctrl C. Then, go to the application function set C file and include the MPU6050 header file to enable the use of the GetMotion6 function. You will also need to declare MPU object of the MPU6050 class. Next, find the function that analyzes the data printed by the Wi-Fi module on the serial port of the main circuit board. This is where you will be adding a new command. While you are here, disable reporting of JSON decoding errors. The main circuit board prints its own internal commands on the same serial port and then tries to decode them with errors, which we don't want to see. Next, find the switch statement and create a case with the first unused command number to read MPU data and print it on the serial port. Coincidentally, the case 6 was unused and we'll use it for the MPU data command. The six measured MPU parameters are signed 16-bit integer type. We can send them serially, separated by commas, but first we need to convert them to a string. For cleaner, more readable interface, it helps if each command received by the car is printed on a new line. So we will add the LN at the end of each print keyword. Next, find case 100, which is for the command that clears all functions being executed. This command is issued when the Wi-Fi link to the client is closed. It helps to see the command number when its status is printed on the COM port. So we will add ed 100 before the printed OK statement. Finally, compile and upload the code to the main circuit board by pushing the right arrow key. My first compile generated an error that fast LED library was not found. If you get the same error message, go to the library manager on left side, search for fast LED and install it. And that concludes our programming of the main circuit board. In the next episode, I'll be talking about how to program this robot in Python.